Voice of Indonesia. UNSPAR Alliance is a network of youth and young professionals working in science, engineering, technology, and innovation. UNSPAR Alliance provides the platform for youth and young professionals to connect, engage, and learn from other youth and experts in the region. We are not only at the international conferences or at the laboratories. You Inspire is working together with the local community in the field. We participate in decision making, demonstrating their ability for advocacy communication and consultation, as well as leveraging advanced technology. We strongly believe that inclusivity is the integral factor of DDR. Hence all our work and projects are people-centric and from the communities on the ground. We are committed to supporting youth leadership. We are happy to work with the Youth Inspire Alliance. Youth Inspire Alliance bringing the gap between professionals and young specialists and make it possible to exchange knowledge and experience between Asian countries to make them more resilient. We work with youth and the young professionals from the academe and the industry sectors to build back better in a post-pandemic world. Youth Inspire has connected us and bring us together to contribute for disaster risk reduction and climate change by utilizing science, engineering, technology, and innovation. Well, listeners, you are still with us, the Voice of Indonesia in Jakarta, and today we have two important people from the You Inspire. Uh, first, uh, connected with us with Zoom, uh, Dr. Ifa Farhana Abu Talib. How are you, Ibu Ifa? How should I call you? Hello, Ibu, Ifa, Farhana. Yes. Yes. Uh, no, yeah. And then we also have connected with Zoom, Suras Gautam. Hello. Hello, Namaste. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Ifa uh, Farhana Abu Talib. She is a uh, senior lecturer in the University Technology of Mara and Vice Secretary General of uh, You Inspire Alliance. Correct me if I mistake on that. 
and then Suras, he is the executive director at Institute of Himalayan Risk Reduction. How are you? Uh, you are in 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 really in 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 Malaysia, and if Dr. Rifa. Yes, I'm in uh, nearby Kuala Lumpur right now at the moment. And uh, you are Gautam in Nepal? Well, currently, I'm in Nepal, but we'll be there soon. Okay. So I was in Nepal in 2000, uh, 2000, around 2006, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. Yeah. I visited wow. Nepal in 2006. Okay, so today we are going to discuss about the uh, disaster risk reduction through the application of science, engineering, technology, and innovation. I think I will go first to Dr. Eva. Uh, you Inspire has a great mission, as we know, to bridge the youth and the young professionals through integrating uh, education, research, and also industry in solving social and environmental problems, especially related to disaster risk mitigation and climate resilience. So the question is, how does the U Inspire play its role in, in Malaysia? And later, uh, Gautam will talk about this in Nepal, of course. Um, and could you please give us a picture of the progress of uh, dynamics and the challenge in making the U Inspire mission a big success? Yes, Dr. Rifa. Thank you, uh, sir, uh, and thank you uh, for having us and uh, talk about this uh, youth and young professional, especially leveraging on um, disaster risk reduction. So basically, you inspire uh, alliance. We call it ourselves. You inspire alliance is uh, consists of fourteen countries uh, scattered all over uh, Asia Pacific, uh, from the furthest Fiji until uh, in Africa in Malawi, and definitely the the biggest you inspire is currently is Indonesia and Malaysia is one of the chapter. So I'm one of the leader of, uh, co-leader of You Inspire Malaysia. We are playing our role by connecting this youth and young professional together on the same platform. And then we um, uh, share our knowledge and, and ideas in terms of uh, science, engineering, technology, and uh, innovation. Uh, as for You Inspire Malaysia, we are based uh, in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, we are advised by uh, two important persons, one from uh, UNESCO Jakarta, uh, Mr. Uh, Arvito Korijat, and mm -hmm. also uh, Professor Joy Berra in uh, uh, Southeast Asia Disaster Prevention uh, University, Kebangsa Indonesia, is a um, um, government university. So uh, we launched officially in 2019, um, a little bit shy uh, before COVID, and then um, happens to be uh, somewhat we call that COVID is a blessing for us, um, where we uh, actually, um, how do we say, uh, use the online platform to to voice out our ideas, and um, we have uh, we quite um, fortunate because we got this um, help and support um, from UNICEF Malaysia. And um, we discuss uh, the, the programs that we would like to do, and from there we um, plan a series of programs so that we can nearby go nearby to the community, and um, that series of programs consists of uh, engaging with the community. We do a webinar, we also do a workshop, and some of the workshop has been picked up by the uh, Ministry of Education. And interestingly, uh, when that pick up by Ministry of Education, they are really um, a fond to our ideas. We come up with our module, uh, first say for disaster risk reduction. So let me ask a simple question uh, for, for Malaysian citizens especially. What is the first thing that you, you do if there's um, um, instant uh, disaster happen? Mm -hmm. So mostly they don't have the idea what exactly they want to do. So that is a very simple, but yet a very crucial uh, question uh, that I think um, uh, um, everyone need, need to um, have their own answer. Yes. So in order to, to, to get the idea, we said that why don't we come up with a program, we share our, our um, ideas um, and our background to the layman, to the, to the community. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we did that um, when, uh, through this, um, all these activities. So the, the UNICEF helped us uh, for two years. So we go uh, from one state to another state. 
uh, in, in region in Malaysia. And then um, at towards the end of the the the, 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 the time span, mm -hmm. um, the Ministry of Education um, said that uh, why don't we focus on another project? So my point is that when we uh, actually have this kind of platform and then people see us in terms of visibility, it's going to create a continuity after that. So, okay. Uh, indirectly, the continuation is uh, actually going to build the capacity, not only for us as youth and young professional, but also going to empower the community. So I think that's pretty much uh, okay. how we I, I got the point. So this is, so the targets are young people, right? Okay, uh, go down. Yes, sir. Yeah, the same questions to you. Uh, well, to be honest, uh, uh, talking about Nepal, uh, it's uh, one of the countries that is prone to multiple hazards, uh, mainly due to its complex geology, topography, and everything. So, uh, in just a span of like hundred uh, uh, or two hundred kilometers, the country elevation changes from sixty meter to eight thousand eight hundred. Uh, more than 48 Mount Everest, at the height of Mount Everest. So, you know, it's there's a lot of uh, challenges in our country. And mm -hmm. as uh, Dr. Ifa has also iterated, it's more about understanding the risk. How can we make uh, young people aware about the risks and how do we respond to such kind of emergencies? So this has been always been a provoking question for all of us. And uh, the number of events that has been triggering in our past, for instance, if you take an example of World Cup 2015, that resulted in the lives of like more than eight, uh, about almost 9,000 people lost their lives. So, and also there are a series of such kind of disasters that are, that has been creating significant impact in our lives and livelihoods. So what we think is uh, through this kind of platform you inspire, it has not just been, I mean, I mean, just a platform. I mean, it has been triggering a very wonderful and innovative solutions. So that's what we as a youth and young professional strive for. And uh, since we youths are also known as the agents of change, so that's had, that has been the motto for what. And uh, in Nepal also, we have been like uh, other uh, countries after us has been working fantastically. So we are also trying our best and we have been organizing number of uh, awareness raising campaigns to leading number of initiatives, uh, developing different types of uh, programs, uh, rich teachers initiatives, webinars and everything. So. This is how we are penetrating uh, and, and also letting people know that, okay, youths can uh, bring some innovative solutions and these solutions can be deployed very quick. So that's what has been the message and that's what we have been working in our country, uh, mainly towards uh, the risk reduction. Okay. My next question is, is the target is uh, uh, young people, as we know that young people have their own life in quotation, right? The way how they, they enjoy this life, this world. So how you can raise or how, what did you do or what have you done to raise, to raise their awareness, their, their interest on this, um, just say, uh, uh, disaster reduction, uh, Dr. Riva? Yes, um, thank you for that. Um, th there's a, a lot of things that have been happening, uh, especially in Malaysia. But uh, since we are very close and counterpart with uh, You Inspire Indonesia, so we learn from one another. Uh, one of it was uh, we had this um, like a um, series of talk online. So we choose like a local champion, uh, and then we make them as a platform so that they can. Uh, speak on what their their experiences and what the do's and the don'ts and what the, their suggestion. This is not um uh, not the uh, what we call um uh, the elderly or or adult, but this is like the, uh, really uh, at youth stage. On top of that, um we conduct this um uh, uh, workshop. Uh, this is also uh, online uh, with the help from uh, UNESCO from Paris. Um, we call it as a futures literacy lab. Basically, it enhanced the way of uh, our thinking further in terms of like uh, 30 or 40 years from now on because we we believe that in that kind of time setting by by the year for example 2045 they will be at managerial level where they're going yes. to make a decision so uh, if they're going to be at that position meaning they have to um, plan and what would do going to do from now on so that soft skill is is um, uh, conducted uh, through this uh, laboratory 
uh, and then uh, I'm uh, one of the um, facilitator who happen to be conduct that uh, lab. Uh, definitely, um, it changed the way of us and especially uh, the young professional to think on uh, on what we're going to do uh, now, so that in the future it going to be better, not what what we anticipate just just in, in a short time of uh, period. Uh, and then. Um, uh, another part that we going uh, we, we, we did was um, engage with the community because when we talk about disaster we don't really use uh, we, we don't really talk among the scientists we don't really talk about, uh, about ourselves but the most important key player is the community so we get to know uh, what are the communities um, uh, back in their mind what are they want what they don't don't like about um, uh, some people you know just uh, like a one-off uh, project and mm. then um, leave them uh, nothing to do after that. So I think uh, by understanding the community is also one of the uh, key points and that is what we, we did and apparently the community was very happy because they, they, they see that um, you inspire especially um, with the batch of youth and young professional. Yes. We actually go down to the level and, and talk and, and get uh, together. And then um, I think um, uh, let me give another example because I'm also in the um, uh, senior lecturer in the Liverpool University. Uh, with that knowledge that I've gained um, from you, Inspire, I put into my university um, uh, exercise with my students, uh, and these students is uh, at the early of uh, 20 and 21. And then um, because of this, it's not talking about one country. Mm. I have this uh, project that cross country, meaning the knowledge that we have. Uh, in Malaysia, we change it. We have the sharing knowledge, we call it, mm -hmm. uh, change and exchange with the local community in Jakarta. Um, uh, and then um, the, the process that we did was quite um, interesting. But we talk about uh, disasters. So okay. we, we actually uh, uh, create a, um, like a one page poster so that that poster going to be placed in the community and they're going to see that. Um, like almost all the time, indirectly, it going to subside in their mind, saying that oh, this is going to uh, going uh, to happen, yes. and then this is what we need to do. Okay. And consequently, sorry, a little bit more. Uh, consequently, um, we managed to um, create uh, um, more these uh, students uh, in terms of um, um, shape the way of their thinking innovatively so because when talking about disaster we it, it will never be the same it will evolving and changing so how we want to make this uh, younger generation to think even further even more creative in in not only with, um uh, solving the the problem but going to mitigate the disaster okay okay, <laughs> okay thank you i get the point then yes that go down Yes, Gautam, the same question to you. So how do you could raise the, the, the young people awareness on this uh, uh, disaster reduction? Uh, yeah, I think uh, my uh, job has been easy because Dr. Rita has already uh, told, uh, uh, I mean, cited some of the relevant examples. So talking about Inspire Nepal, so what we have been doing is we have been forming different types of working groups. So the working group uh, related to knowledge management, related to tech and innovation, related to initiatives and advocacy, and also related to science communication. So we are uh, like uh, categorizing uh, the, uh, I mean, we are categorizing youths based on their interest and also their willingness to uh, commit. So in this way, what we are doing is we are finding some ways that how these uh, the youths could be engaged into such uh, platforms and also we are also having uh, regular dialogues with the uh, different organization within the country for instance there is national platform for disaster reduction we call it NPDRR. so we are also as a part of unspire uh, nepal we are trying to reach out to them so that we can also share the uh, real uh, field-based uh, experiences and also the things that we might uh, need and we also share with uh, uh, the respective stakeholders uh, apart from that, we are also building some citizen scientists because this is something that we have always uh, uh, empowered on because we want to believe the capacity, uh, uh, I mean, in enhance the capacity of the local youths. So we, we uh, conduct different types of uh, workshops, we uh, conduct webinars, trainings, and make them aware. And also, uh, what is more interesting is like 
people are now uh, more towards a database decision making and it's the youth that has been always been advocating towards the use of the data for the effective uh, decision making so in this way it has been somehow easy for us to have those uh, like-minded youth to join our movement and also join different types of initiatives and also contribute to the work that the government has been doing so in in this way we have we are now finding a very good uh, platform and uh, which has been uh, continuously developing the uh, professional capacities and also the skills of our youth so uh, this is how we are growing okay good um what are what I can get from you to uh, answer to the, the questions, it seems to me that all the targets here are so people will well educated people, young people. Yeah. So what about the people, young people out there in the village? So because this is very prone, they are very prone to the, this, uh, I mean, uh, disaster. So how do you inspire, reach, engage? the young people, those uh, in, in the villages. Uh, Dr. Eva. Um, thank you. Uh, that's an interesting question. Uh, I think um, most of the places in Southeast Asia, especially, um, they are um, not really uh, developed yet. So we have that challenges, definitely. But um, one of the practice that we did is we we went to from one community to community one one um uh, village to another village and then not only it is a one off project but we we what we did was uh um like a written kind of um uh, poster one one off poster and then uh, uh we talked to the um the head of the uh, village and then um uh, is spread to 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 the community, uh, one of it. But in terms of the perspective for you, Inspire Alliance, uh, we got to know that um, some of the countries chapter they use, um, for example, drone um, technology. They uh, disseminate the information using the technology. But uh, one of um, perspective in terms of another uh, country chapter, they use a smaller scale or the basic technology in terms of like um, um, maybe this terminology is have from different countries. For for us, we call it as a gong or something like a, a drum to to you know to make an early warning saying that uh, this um going to be happen so please save yourself so as small as the simplest technology until to the complicated ones uh, we try to um penetrate the uh, villages uh, especially so i think maybe uh suraj can tell more yes. on this yes please that's yeah yeah definitely so what we have been believing is anything that we do, I mean, uh, doing it at the central level or maybe at the national level, that won't be enough. So what we have always empowered is we believe in localization. So whatever things that we learn and also what we have uh, developed, so we just uh, uh, take those technologies, we, we believe in transferring the skills and knowledge to the, uh, to the local uh, community. And another important part, as you mentioned, the one uh, who are working or who are staying in the villages, what we are also trying to do and what our focus has been is towards the uh, generation of indigenous knowledges and technologies that they possess. So in that way, we have been promoting them on how those uh, indigenous knowledges and techniques could be institutionalized. So in that way, we are trying to communicate with them uh, through the local languages and also making them uh, translated into the other languages so that it could be easily uh, taken to different parts. And uh, another important part, Dr. Ifa has also iterated, it's about the sharing of best practices. And uh, we always believe in bridging the city with the community, that is science, engineering, technology, and innovation with the community so that they understand that in their local language and also they implement those uh, uh, solutions in a very simple and very effective way. So that is one way. And the, 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 mool, uh, the, the major uh, uh, motto is about uh, believing in the participatory approach whether it is uh, we, whether we carry out our activities in the villages or in the urban cities so it's all about making everyone count every uh, all the voices are heard no one is left behind so that's that's how we do and we also uh, like develop different types of infographics and uh, the, so many communication measures so that's how we are trying to engage every one of us so that every youth gets access to uh, uh, i mean is not deprived of any kinds of opportunities or uh, may not be lack of any kind of uh, access to information or something like that. Thank you. Yes, maybe just 
one last quick questions for you, Dr. Eva and uh, Surat Gautam. So I I attended the international GGDR in Bali two two years ago. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, if, if you were there at the time, uh-huh. Uh-huh. so so this is not all about technology. How uh-huh. we handle this uh, in, uh, 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 risk of uh, 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 reduction risk, but also local wisdom. What do you say? Oh, exactly. Um, uh, sometimes, no, no, not sometimes. Meaning, our uh, the generation before us, they had, had all, all this uh, wonderful experience, and actually, we need to learn from them. And this local wisdom, in my opinion, in my personal uh, belief, that it is very much helpful because from that is going to indicate um we call it as like um the manual early warning system to me um rather than um the scientists going to to propose the um complicated and sophisticated kind of warning so i think that is the 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 basic well in short we need to go to basic sometimes okay <laughs> yes surat got out uh, yeah it's a thing i mean uh, i i i totally agree with dr afi uh, afi uh, ifa so The major thing is like uh, how we uh, adopt those technologies, and because the disasters were, I mean, it's not just uh, these days we are facing disasters. We had such kind of disasters in the past as well. Uh, so during those period, our ancestors or our uh, seniors used to like use their local wisdom, local technologies, and local learning. So I think this is something that we need to capture because uh, having a sublime connection or the fusion of the modern technologies and also the local wisdom will definitely contribute towards the sustainable uh, goals and also sustainable risk reduction so that's what we believe so it is something that we need to uh, carry forward and i think uh, that's what you inspire alliance has always been prioritizing as well thank you okay thank you very much dr rifa and also surat gautam actually there are still many things that i would like to discuss <laughs> on this program but my producers already give me a signal oh you have not enough time uh, you have already finished your time is finished so maybe next time we will discuss this more because i believe uh, i'm very interested in this in this i mean uh, the risk reduction uh, because i was in in the gddr in bali 2000 years ago and uh, we also discuss about the 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 the, 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 the the part of the the journalists yeah the media in this uh, i mean uh, program campaign yeah. yeah thank you very much maybe we will have another time to meet and thank discuss about this okay thank well, you so much for the opportunity okay. yes well listeners and viewers of voice of indonesia that was my very interesting conversation and discussion on disaster risk reduction through the application of science engineering technology and innovation with dr ifaf Fartana Abu Talib, uh, senior lecturer at the University of Technology Mara and vice uh, secretary general Inspiring Alliance and also Surat Gautam, executive director at Institute of Himalayan Risk Reduction. And I'm Dalot Pane. See you next time. Voice of Indonesia.